Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Well, between the holidays now, we come to the latest installment of What's It Way. We've got a battery of heavy hitters tonight, and some immense watches for, quite frankly, immense wrists, far larger than mine, but we can appreciate the size, the heft, and the presence of all of them. We're going to start out with a bit of a laugher and make our way up to the seriously heavy metal. Yes, that is the anniversary Daytona. Thank you for noticing. Okay, right out of the gate, folks. Like I said, we're going to start with a laugher, which means we fire up the trusty USPS scale. And since we are civilized folk, we are going to use SI. And we're going to start things off, as I said, with a little bit of a laugher. Consider this the comedy control. My own Swatch Blue Rebel. And for those of you in 19th century industrial economies like the United States, 1.1 ounces. Okay, so having set the bar low, we're going to up the ante with another one of mine. This time my Shisher LeCoult Master Compressor Extreme World Alarm. This is the tides of time. The outer case is steel, the inner case is titanium, and it all adds up to a total of 129 grams. Once again, we're talking about a quarter pound and a half ounce, just a little bit more. All right. Let's turn up the wick a bit to use one of my favorite British expressions. Classical Roger Dubuis Easy Diver Sports Activity Watch in stainless steel. 5.8 ounces and a rousing 165 grams. Okay, now we're starting to look at contenders, but you know what? From low volume high horology in Geneva, we head over to low volume high horology in Le Chaux de Fond, Maitre du Temps, chapter two, entirely in white gold, 58 millimeters from lug to lug. This is a mammoth machine. And at 222 grams, we're now talking solidly over seven ounces, borderline eight. This is a watch that, quite frankly, you will never forget on your wrist, whether you're looking at it or not. How do we top that? Well, not with one, but two rejoinders from Mr. Roger Dubuis. An homage 40 millimeter, white gold, day date by retrograde chronograph, and an early sympathy. 40 millimeter rose gold by retrograde chronograph, both featuring the Roger Dubuis caliber 5630 based on the Le Mans 2310 caliber. It's been to the moon, it's been in Patek Philippe's, and it's been uniquely utilized by Roger Dubuis in the early days of his namesake manufacturer to create watches that combined weigh in at 9.2 ounces and 261 grams. Okay, now we're talking. By the way, that's a handsome set of double trouble right there. I'd be happy to wear either one. But you can only wear one. And in light of that fact, we have one that easily surpasses the two. Yes, this is the 50th anniversary Rolex 116506. This is the Platinum Daytona. And it does not disappoint. 277 grams, we're closing in on 300, and almost 10 ounces. Can anything one-up the anniversary Daytona? Or are we looking at a victory over 50 years in the making? Well, and then the Death Star happened. Michael Dutomp, Chapter 1, Transparence Round, an immense 50 millimeters across, not including pushers, 17 and a half millimeters thick, 62 millimeters from lug to lug, and yes, this thing has its own gravitational field. And now you can see why, weighing in at almost 300 grams, the Chapter 1 has a phenomenal 10.4 ounce mass, meaning it is the most massive machine for a very Merry Christmas, post-Christmas, mid-Hanukkah, and Happy New Year's. So the champion for 2016 is the Maitre du Temps Chapter 1. You can see it and you can buy it on our website.